Hello everybody, welcome to New to Magic, my name's Dan. This week I've got for you a Magic Origins Deck Builders Toolkit. I got a Deck Builders Toolkit when I first got into Magic and these things are great to start you off on your first collection on the road down to buying probably more cards. What you get in here are uh, 285 cards as it says on the front. You get four boost packs, some more cards to add to your collection, some lands uh, and I think a couple of other things as well. Let's have a look at the contents here. You get 125 semi-randomized cards, four 15 card booster packs, 100 basic lands, deck builder's guide to building the magic decks, magic rules reference card, and a full art reusable storage box. Having a box is really handy as well. Um, so these are really good products. I got this off Magic Madhouse for $13.95, and it came just yesterday, and so I'm gonna bust it open for you now. So yep, you get a really sturdy looking box. this and you get a rules reference card which tells you everything you need to know about the game if you're a new player these generally come with most products and then you get this thing which will have a guide on um, how to do things how to build decks um, so it's got suggested deck themes with the cards that you're given, I'm guessing. So you can have a look at that, see what you can do with this. And then obviously you get four booster packs. Now it is disappointing that they don't give you a Cards of Tarkir pack. However, Journey into Nyx is a decent set. Uh, my friend pull, uh, opened one of these the other night and he pulled an Eidolon of the Great Revel which is a good card, really good card, and it's played in standard. So you've got Journey into Nyx booster, got a Dragon's Attack here booster, Fate Reforged, and one Magic Origins booster. You also get some semi-randomized cards. Now, I think these are structured, you can use the, the bit of uh, literature to help you construct a deck. Um, so you get a bunch of cards uh, and some lands. I'm not sure if they'll, they'll be different. So let's just have a look. See what you get. I think these are just all basic lands, but I will check. <clears throat> yep, so they're all basic lands. I think you get 20 of each. Yeah, it said 100 basic lands. So there you go, you got 100 basic lands. Um, and then, in here, what do we get? We get Evolving Wilds. So we've got a Keru Bloodsucker. A Sultai Flayer, Kintry Invocation, Sight the Scale Lords, Hitchclaw Recluse, Rotting Mastodon, Reach of Shadows, Grim Contest, Coat with Venom, Colossodon Yearling, The Revolving Wilds, Suspension Field, Mistfire Adept, Strong Arm Monk, Void Squall, Ring Warden Owl, Jeskai Student, Weaver Fate, Artful Manoeuvre, Student of Ojutai, Ojutai's Breath, The Revolving Wilds, Zendikar Incarnate, Dragon Grip, Ataka Pummeler, Circle of Elders, The Titanic Growth, Barrage of Boulders, Savage Punch, Frontier Mastodon, Whisper of the Wilds, Sabretooth Outrider, The Revolving Wilds, God they keep coming, Totem Guide Heart Beast, Blightcaster, Got a Blood Cursed Knight, Sage's Reverie, Infernal Scarring, Fetid Imp, Auromancer, Debilitating Injury, Ancestral Vengeance, and a Pacifism. So yeah, a strong collection of, well, a collection of cards to get you on the way from that one, uh, from Khans and various other sets. Uh, I saw some Dragons of Tarkir stuff. So it's just a, a collection of cards from the most recent sets. Uh, so you can construct a deck and have a go really. Um, so next one is Spider, S Spider Silk Net. I've got Blood Bloodfell Caves, two of those. Blossoming Sands, two of those. Dismal Backwater, Jungle Hollow, Rugged Highlands, and Scoured Barrens, Swiftwater Cliffs, Thorn Falls, Tranquil Cove. So they're giving you the full gamut, Windscarred Crag, of um, lands and we've got more 
land here. So this must be the additional land that you get as well. You get a lot of land. I mean, that's all your basic land. That's a good bulk of the cards. And then you've got those as well, which are your dual lands, which are obviously handy. If you're a new player, getting lands, obviously you need them to start building decks. But when you're someone like me, one of these, you know, when you've been into it for a little while, you're inundated with lands, so the last thing you really need is them. So this isn't something I particularly massively need, but I thought I'd get just to see what you get in it. Okay, so our rare here is Aegis Angel. It's two white and four. Um, when Aegis, Aegis Angel enters the battlefield, another target permanent gains indestructible for as long as you control Aegis Angel. It's a five-five. We've got Mahoti, um, Mahamoti Jin. And it's a four and two blue, and it's a flyer, a uh, five six flyer, so fairly vanilla. Nightmare is uh, five and one black. Again, another flying creature. Uh, Nightmare's power and toughness are e each equal to the number of swamps you control. We've got Shivan Dragon, which is four and two red. And pay one red, Shivan Dragon gets plus one plus zero till end of turn. And a Terror Stomper is three and Three green, Terra Stomper can't be counted, it has Trample, it's an 8-8. Eight, eight. I have most of these, in fact I think I have one of all of those. So yeah, obviously if you're new, this is great, if you're not, not so great. So, Sarah Angel, Silk Wrap, I'm just going to go through these, Divine Verdict, Eagle of the Watch, Alabaster Kirin, Celestial Flare, Erase, Feet of Resistance, Avon Skirmisher, Artful Maneuver, Another Pacifism, Frostwalker, into the Void, Weave of Fate, Disdainful Stroke, Claustrophobia, Singing Bell Strike, Fairy Miscreant, Avon Surveyor, Anticipate, Elusive Spellfist, Negate, Sengir Vampire, Ultimate Price, that's a good card, Mind Rot, Flesh to Dust, Reef Soul, also great uncommon, Deadbridge Shaman, Debilitating Injury, Hooded Assassin, Typhoid Rats, Flatten, Hand of Silumgar, Arc Lightning, Wild Slash, good card. Fiery Hellhound, Act of Treason, Dragon Fodder, Prickle Boar, Trumpet Blast, Bathe in Dragonfire, Mardu Scout, Tormented, Tormenting Voice, sorry, Twin Bolt, Prized Unicorn, Heir of the Wilds, which I, I like that card, Elvish Visionary, Nissa's Pilgrimage, Titanic Growth, Plummet, Dragon Scale Boon, Naturalize, Anok Guide, Whisper of the Wilds, and Colossodon Yearling. So those are all the cards that you get with the set, apart from the booster packs, which I shall now open for you and show you what you get inside. So we'll start with the oldest, and the one that's about to go out of rotation. Journey into Nyx. <clears throat> when I say rotation, these aren't going to be playable if you're playing in tournaments uh, very soon. Uh, so if you're playing standard, uh, these cards will not be applicable for a long, uh, for much longer. Anyway, let's get on with it. So we've got a Golden Hind, Feast of Dreams, Cloaked Siren, Lightning Didem, Laguna Band Trailblazer, Market Festival, Flurry of Horns, Dead Bring Out Lampads, Stonewise Fortifier. Our first uncommon is Whitewater Naiads, and then Basara Tower Archer. Banishing Light is our third uncommon, and our rare is Ferris Band War Chief. It's three and one green, has Vigilance and Trample. Other Centaur creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and have Vigilance and Trample. And we've got a Spiteful Blow in Foil. It's four and two black. It's uncommon. Destroy target creature and target land. Nice, got a Foil. And then we just chuck these away. Got enough lands, like. <laughs> uh, right, let's start as I mean to go on. Let's go with Fate Reforged, that's the second oldest out of the lot. It is a shame that there's no counter Tarkir here, but um, oh well, you can't have everything. Um, so, we've got Cunning Strike, Harishing Cleric, Abzan Advantage, Avon Surveyor, Typhoid Rats, Frontier Mastodon, Alessia's Vanguard, Defiant Ogre, Whisperer of the Wilds, Collateral Damage, Mardu Shadow Spear, Kasi High Priest, 
Sudden Reclamation, sorry, these are the uncommons. And Warden of the Frost Trees are rare. That is a mythic rare as well, and that is a damn good one to get. Thank you, Fate Reforged. I've been wanting one of these. Wow, okay. Fairly chuffed I got this, just because of getting that card. I've wanted another copy of that. Um, great. Chuffed with that. Okay, next one, Dragons of Tarkir. Let's see if we can another, pull another nice rare out of these. So, we've got Glaring Aegis, Marshal, Lose Calm, Territorial Rock, Dragon Scarred Bear, Palace Familiar, Ogetai's Summons, Evolving Wilds, Twin Bolt, Naturalize. Our first uncommon is Battle Mastery. And we've got a Storming Dragon, Silumgar Monument, and the rare is Descent of the Dragons. And that's another mythic rare. Holy crap! Okay, Descent of the Dragons. Four and two red. Uh, it's a sorcery. Destroy any number of target creatures for each creature destroyed this way. Its controller puts a 4 4 red dragon creature token with flying onto the battlefield. Again, not a bad card, not something I would necessarily play myself, but, you know, good to get. Two Mythics, can't really complain there. I'll put the other rare over here just to show you what I get. Oh, I'm the foil. Right, so that's the Dragon's Booster. Lastly, we have the Mar Magic Origins Booster. Now then, let's see what we get out of this. God. Be amazed if we get another mythic, that would be mental. Um, so we've got Subterranean Scout, a Crow and Jailer, Dark Dabbling, Chandra's Fury, Unholy Hunger, Deep Sea Terror, Ring Warden Owl, Mantle of Webs, Bogat Brute, Alchemist Vile, Ruined Servitor is our first uncommon, Throwing Knife. Enthralling Victor, and the rare is... Oh, you're absolutely joking me. Another mythic. Uh, Erebos' Titan. It's one and three black. As long as your opponents control no creatures, Erebos' Titan has indestructible. So it's another mythic. It's not, you know, one that I'm particularly looking for, but that's three mythics out of this. Pretty chuffed by that. Um... All right, so that was the deck builder okay, toolkit. Okay, so it occurred to me to kind of break this down a little bit to see what you get in your deck builder's toolkit as, as normal. Deck builder's toolkits come with different randomized cards, so they're semi-randomized. So what that means is there are a collection of cards, which are shown here in the literature. So you've got 11 potential um, seeded booster packs that you could get and you get four of these by the looks of things. This is what I'm kind of ass assessing, that's what I'm seeing here. So in mine, uh, well, we'll break this down for you, what you actually get. So you get your 100 basic lands, you get 20 of each color, and then you also get 20 of the dual lands. You get two of each version, so you're fully kitted out for all the different kinds of decks. And then you get four evolving wilds, so that's 24 card spaces taken up by yet more lands uh, so you're getting 124 lands which is quite a lot but uh, if you want to do different types of decks then it's a good way to start then you get five rares of each color one of each color to get you started off and then you get your seeded packs now this you just you get one artifact on the side here the spider silk net which isn't great but then you get four seeded packs of i think it's 10 cards four of which are uncommons and uh, so here we've got the red green, uh, there we've got black green, and then this one is blue white, but you don't have a blue white card, which is annoying because there's a really good blue white card in, in uh, Origins. And then there's the white black one here. So you get cards that help these kind of themes to start you off, and then you get another, I think it's a 10 or 11 cards of the different colors, so white, you know, all, all five colors, and you get two extra uncommons with those and then the rest of them are commons. And so these can kind of link up with these and what you're supposed to do is to pick one of these four kind of types and then use these to kind of fill out your deck and, and try things out with. And then obviously you get your four booster packs uh, and you can see if you can put these 
into any of your decks and see if they work. So yeah, I just thought I'd break that down for you, just to show you exactly what you get. So it's quite a lot to get you started, especially if you're a new player. I do recommend these if you're a new player, if you just want to try try the game out and see if it's for you. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily recommend these for uh, returning players or ones that have been in it for a while. Uh, you're best buying your cards or, or uh, drafting to, to get the cards that you're, you're after. Anyway, let me know what you thought of this video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe and all that jazz. I've been Dan, you've been watching Newton Magic. Thanks for watching, see you next time.